By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to build a live AI app in just a few minutes. Because you can simply tell this new tool exactly what you want and it builds it and sets it live for you. Because instead of you having to try to link together a bunch of different tools, for example, a payment system, a database, and a bunch of different APIs, this tool does it for you. And here's the most important part. This tool doesn't stop at just building you an app. It can also operate your app and sell it for you. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this tool is because we're gonna be building a live app together. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is going to be Zoer.ai. If you come over to Zoer.ai, this makes it incredibly easy to build any type of app that you want. You literally just come over here and type in a very simple prompt. For example, I'm gonna ask this to create a web application that functions as an AI outfit try-on generator. The app needs to include user authentication systems so people can sign up. Once logged in, people should be able to upload a photo of themselves, upload clothing images, and use the integrated Nano Banana AI model to generate realistic try on images. In addition to that, it needs to make sure that Stripe is implemented here. So this is a pretty complex web application and here's what we are going to do. You can see right here that you could build this either in public or private if you wanted to. You can also see all these different integrations right here. So I'm gonna turn all of them on that I need. In fact, I'm gonna need every single one of these and what this is then going to ask us for are all the different API keys that we need in order to actually set these up. So. I went through and actually turned those on. I wasn't gonna show you it because I don't want my API keys to be exposed, but you guys get the point here. In addition to that, if you wanted to, you could click on this right here. And if you have any type of design inspiration or you have Figma designs for exactly what you want, you would be able to upload them right here in order to actually build this out. Now, if you don't have a super complex prompt, like what I have here, let's say that you just had this right here, create a web application that functions as an AI alpha trion generator. If you wanted to, you could come over here and you could click on enhance prompt, and this will actually create you a way better prompt. In fact, I wanna actually show that off for you. So I'm gonna copy this again so that we could show this in just a second, but let's say that we just had this here. If we clicked on enhance prompt, here's what it actually does. It goes through and completely rewrites the prompt and makes it way better we could see that this makes it way longer. I mean, honestly, this makes it even longer than the prompt that I actually had here, but this goes through the different pages that need to be created, all the different functionality and all of that. Now, like I said, I already have this prompt built out, so we're gonna do this like this. We're gonna click on upload right here, and now Zoer is going to go through, and this is going to begin to actually build this out in minutes. As we can see immediately, what this first does is says, great, I'm excited to do this. Based on your requirements, I'm designing a system that can do the following. It goes through all of the different core features that this has. It also goes through all the different key design decisions, goes through navigations and permissions, and it asks if it can actually go through and automatically create all these things. And I'm going to suggest that it does that. And we can actually see the plan down here for literally everything. We could see the different aspect ratios that this is going to show. We could see how much this is actually going to cost. We could see a generation history. I mean, this thought through way more things than I put in my initial prompt. In addition to that, it came over here and actually came up with a design style, be it typography, the colors, the layout, even how the interaction is going to work. And then in addition to that, it goes through all the different plugins and integrations that are going to be used in order to build this. I'm going to click on build and now this is going to go off and actually create this. Okay. Now, as we can see, this is actually going through and this is building all of this out. And the first thing that you're going to notice is that this is actually building out the database right here, which is incredibly important. You see what most apps do, and this is honestly what most vibe coding tools do, is they go through and build out the tool and then they go through and build out the database. And that is what causes a lot of issues in most of the apps that you've probably tried to build before, or websites that you've tried to build before. It's kind of like building something and then trying to set up all the plumbing. I mean, think about it. If you were going to go through and you were going to put plumbing below your house, you would do that before you actually built your house, not after you built your house, because then you'd have to go through the floor or reconfigure everything. Creating a website or an app is the same exact thing, which is what makes Zoe so powerful because it actually understands the order in which things should actually be created.
In addition to that, you'll see that as this is going through, we have a control center right here where we can come over here, we can name the app, we can give it a description, you can see whether or not it's live, you can see when it was created, the last time it was actually updated, you could come over here and see the app visibility, the price, we could actually have the Zower badge taken off. This right here, Zower Copilot, I'm going to show you in this in a little bit, but basically, this is an AI assistant that simplifies app usage both for us as a creator, so it can operate the app for us, and for users, it can actually tell them like how to actually use the app and stuff like that, which is pretty sick. In addition to that, we could come over here, we could see all the different integrations that are going to be in here. We could see the code at any point if we wanted to. We could see the database in here and all the different things that are going to show up, and we'll be able to go through this once it actually populates. Now, before I show you exactly what this looks like, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started today with Zower AI for free. Because this is the only AI app builder that can take you from idea to monetization without you leaving it. Okay, so as we can see here, this has actually been created now, which is pretty awesome. We could come over here, we could see the database for this and all these different things. We could see all the code that's in here. We could see all the different integrations that are in here, the ones that are turned on, ones that are turned off, and we can manage each of them if we want to. And by the way, I did want to show you how to actually come through here and set up your Stripe integration. So you're going to come over here and click on manage with Stripe. And then this is going to show you the three different keys that you have to come in and you have to add in here. You're going to need your Stripe publishable key, your Stripe secret key, and your webhook secret. Now, all you have to do in order to actually get them is you're going to come over into your Stripe dashboard, come under developers, come into API keys, and you're going to see all these keys right here. And then you just come back into Zower, you're going to paste them here, and then you want to make sure that you copy this endpoint URL that it shows at the bottom down here. You're then going to come back into developers inside of Stripe. You're going to come into your webhooks and you need to make sure that you're pasting that in here. Basically, you're just going to come over into a Stripe event where you click on add an endpoint. You add that in here with the description. And what this does is actually connects your Zower AI to a direct event on Stripe. Now from there, you're going to want to click into events. And then for the sake of this, you could just click on select all events right here at the top left. And then this is what this is actually going to look like when this is set up. And then you'll be able to come over here to signing secret. You're going to want to click on reveal right here. And then this is going to give you that key that you need to come back into Zower and put it in there. And that is going to be the webhook secret key that you're going to place at the bottom here. And by the way, if you get stuck trying to set any of this up, if you click on how to configure here, it actually walks you through this. And then we could come back over to Zower and we could click on this and we could put in a bunch of test information here. And then you'll be able to see that this payment actually went through successfully. Now from here, we're just going to come over to preview. I'm going to open this up in a new window and let's go ahead and actually sign up. Okay, so now that I'm actually logged in, we could see exactly what this looks like and we are going to try this on. So we could see that I have three credits over here. If I wanted to get more credits, I would be able to sign up and I would be able to buy this because we have the Stripe integration. In addition to that, we have my wardrobe, which is going to be blank right now. We also have history that is going to be blank right now. And we have this screen right here that we can go through and we can begin to actually create. Now, before we actually test this, I wanted to show you this right here because this is going to be this co-pilot. And this can be used in two ways. So you could use this internally in order to do things like data queries, management, operational tests through natural conversation, or your users can actually use this for things like customer support, asking questions, trying to understand how the app actually works. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here and we are going to upload a photo of a model here, or we could do it of ourselves. I'm going to do it of a model right here, and then we could come over here and we can name this and do all of this, which is pretty cool. And then from here, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to select from clothing here, either from our wardrobe or from a catalog, and we could go through and actually upload this. For example, I'm going to type in Gucci jacket here. We're going to put as outerwear brand is going to be Gucci. I'm going to put brown. I'm going to say this is a Gucci brown jacket that I want to buy. Now from here, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to upload the photo that I have of the brown jacket. Now we can come over here and once this actually loads, we'll be able to click on generate or we could choose a different aspect ratio that we want right here. And what this is going to do, I'm going to go with three, two right here. This is going to go through and allow us to actually see what this looks like on us.
So we could see that I came through, I selected this photo of the model, I selected this Gucci jacket right here. I'm gonna click on generate try on, and now this is going to go through using Nano Banana, and this is actually going to create an image of what we'd look like with this on. Now what we could see here is that this went through, it took the model, and it put a Gucci jacket on them that's brown right here. Now. One thing to note, it actually did add in this other flare over here. So that actually looks cool. And actually, I think that this looks better than just the regular Gucci jacket. But essentially what this allows you to do is this then allows you to see this AI generated try on. Now, again, I want you to think about how powerful this is. This just created an app with all of these different integrations in here without me having to do anything. I mean, literally look at this. I'll prove this to you over here. If we come over to the left-hand side right here, I literally put in one prompt. I have not told this anything else, literally nothing else. Now, if we want to change anything about this, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to preview right here, and then we could come over here and tell it exactly what we want to change. Maybe we want to add in some testimonials, or we want to add in a landing page, or we want to change something like that. We could literally just come over here and we could upload an image of what we want to add in and tell it to add it in, or we could just ask it to add it in right here and it's going to go off and do that. For example, I'm going to say, please build out a landing page with a button to click so that users can sign on. This page needs to sell people on why they should sign up. Now what this is going to do is this is going to go through and actually make that change for us. Now, while this goes through and this actually does this, I wanted to show you something else that is super unique to Zoer. If we come over here, we see this community right here. This is where you can actually publish and sell your app directly to other people that are on here, which is what makes this the only AI app builder and AI website builder that allows you to build things with AI, but also monetize them on the same website. We could see right here that we could come over here and buy this for $5 or turn social media visitors into paying customers $100. There are a ton of different tools here and you will actually be able to sell your own tool on here literally by just coming in setting a price and people will begin buying it because it shows up high on this marketplace and the way that you would do that is literally just coming over here making sure that this is public and you can come over here and set a price in order to sell the app and sell the users on whatever price you want and the other part of this that i really like is if we come up over here we could see all of the different versions, the change that was made, we could restore it to anything previous and we could preview something previous so we could actually see what the difference is and what change was really made. Okay, so now we could see that this actually went through and this built out an amazing landing page for us where we could see you could try it for free for three credits and then you're gonna have to end up paying for it. And this created a landing page that is absolutely crazy. Again, with pricing here, we could sign up right here for paid. It put in testimonials. It put in happy users, outfits tried, satisfaction. This right here is incredible because again, all I did was literally write one prompt here and it went off and made these changes. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you how to create a bunch of AI avatars so that you can promote your new app or your new website. I'll see you over there.